Hey guys, this is Abhishek and in this video, I will show you how you can tune your parameters or hyperparameters for the increased accuracy in your model. So if you have seen my previous video, I have shown you how you can use the cross validation score to basically predict the or basically see the overall accuracy from your model by splitting your uh, data into five different parts so that you can iterate over the entire data set for testing it and get a bit comfortable uh, uh, you know comfortable on your accuracy part and not just by looking at one set word certain set of data so so that's about uh, cross validation and I, I mentioned in my previous video that it is really helpful to evaluate uh, multiple models like uh, linear regression in this case and you want to apply some other type of regression and then want to see what accuracy that you are achieving so cross validation score really helps in that case but uh, now i want to see show you as a as a topic of this uh, video that how you can uh, tune the parameters so now in this case if you see we have taken the entire data Boston dot data but if I show you uh, print Boston dot description and uh, if I go down these are the different parameters that it has and finally this is the target variable which is in thousand of dollars median value of owner occupied homes so what i'm gonna do is uh, i will going to take the three parameters let's say first second and third and then see after that i will increase one more increase one more keep on increasing for another two or three parameters and see whether the accuracy is increasing or decreasing okay so how i can really do that is first of all by taking x is equals to boston dot data all the rows and uh, from 0 to 3 okay and y is your boston dot target so we are good here now let's let's go ahead and do the cross well score what we need is multiple regression uh, the one we initiated above, above or if you want you can initiate over here uh, new underscore multi underscore rag is equals to linear regression okay once you have the linear regression um, you can go ahead and use the cross file score and I will just save these score in this object cross file score and uh, first is the this linear regression new underscore multi underscore rag then these uh, four values if I just do two these are three zero one two three variables and uh, X comma Y comma now we need to specify uh, in how many uh, parts we want to split the data set so CV which is cross validation and uh, let's go ahead and do it by five and now let's do the scoring is equals to R E G N E G if I'm not wrong N E G uh, mean absolute underscore error all right and rag underscore score so if I press shift tab here are our scores and we are not expecting them into negative so what we can do is we can R E G underscore score underscore new is equals to negative r e g underscore score all right r e g underscore score underscore and we are printing it so here we are and then uh, what we can do n p dot mean and r e g underscore score underscore n and here is our average accuracy 5.77 uh, if you're confused with NP and don't know about this, what you need, what we need is basically NumPy library. Import NumPy as NP. But I'm pretty sure that if you're watching this video, you are you are aware about NumPy library. Okay, 
so here we are with this now let's go ahead and add the third next variable execute that i'll go ahead and execute this and execute this execute this and if you see there is no change into this i'll go ahead and uh, go to zero to four execute this I will go ahead and execute this, execute this, execute this. Now, if you see from 5.76, 5.77. So if you see, you know, the previous variable did not contribute and this one also contributed very, very less, right? Also, if you want, you, you can even see it from the start, like whether the very first variable contribute or not. So you can remove the zero and just say one. So one to four. I'll go ahead and execute that, execute that, and execute that, execute. And from five, it has increased to six, which is now saying that the first variable was really contributing. So you keep at that. So this way, you can really, uh, really uh, change the different accuracy models for different parameters and try to see whether that parameter really makes sense or not in your model with the help of this cross-validation score. So this cross-validation, uh, as I mentioned, uh, splits the data into multiple data sets where uh, the, so in this case five, so the first part will be held as a test and rest of the four into training. Then second part will be uh, held as a test and first and rest three last three part will be held as training so this way uh, it will iterate on the entire data for building the accuracy scores so that you are having a confidence on your train trust split strategy so that's about it about how you can uh, tune your parameter make sure uh, you are going through the each one each parameter and uh, executing it now the next question comes and i will show that in the next video that if you have 100 different parameters and you need to test that how would you really do that well the answer is simple which is loop i leave it up to you if you want to figure it out on your own do some little bit of search or if you are already um, expert on looping uh, on the list of values then, then nothing like it I mean, go ahead and execute it but I'll show you in the next video about how you can do that.